Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Holland's classroom and today we're going to investigate pumpkins. Now, I wanted to make this video because I've always loved uh, asking my friends about pumpkins, what they think about them, and uh, just really getting into the science of pumpkins. And since you guys aren't here, I'm gonna do it on the video. And I've already asked a lot of you guys to help me with this video. So if you hear your questions or you you know you hear what I'm saying, it's because I was you know listening to what you were doing, and I wanted to really include that because it's important to hear what you guys have to say about things and for us to look at it together. So come on, let's check this out. I'm about to show you my magnificent pumpkin. Oh, I gotta make that work. <sighs> Okay, that worked that time. All right, take a look at this. Uh, I've asked my friends to make some observations, but I want you to still take a look at it. And the first thing we're gonna do before we cut this open is I really wanna know, what are you observing about this? And when I say observe, that's just a scientific way of saying when you see it, what do you think? What do you look at? I've had friends that say when they look at it, it looks orange. That's an observation. I've also had friends say, it looks kind of bumpy, or what are these lines? Or look at that brown stick. Those are some observations about a pumpkin, but we're gonna get into some more investigation right now. So let's go take a look. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about what we observe about our pumpkin, what we think about when we see it, now we can get to the part where we're gonna make a hypothesis. And a hypothesis is a fancy way of saying that we're gonna guess about something that we don't know yet. So I asked my friends, what do they think the inside of a pumpkin is like? Now, some of them, of course, have carved out pumpkins before, and so they kind of remembered what was going on back then, but some of my friends haven't done that yet. So it was interesting to hear both sides. So some of my friends thought that the, since this is a fruit, yeah, that's right, it's a fruit because it has the seeds inside of it. Uh, because it, it's a fruit like that, they, they said it might be like the inside of an apple where there's like a core with the seeds in it. Um, some of my friends said that the inside is gonna be orange too. Some of my friends said that it is gonna be gooey inside. One of my friends even used the word and said that there's cobwebs inside, like spider webs. I was like, man, that's kind of a weird thing to think about. So, uh, that being said, looking, I mean, we obviously have this as a guide that it's um, a, a resource from Scholastic. Um, and so we can kind of tell a little bit about things, but even looking at a picture or reading about pumpkins in a book doesn't always tell us or show us the experience so hopefully you're going to be able to do this at home at some point and explore the inside of a pumpkin but i'm about to do it right now before i do i want to talk about some of the things that are on here so first that this part is the stem and the stem is what gets connected to the vine that is the uh, planted in the ground. So it get the seeds start in the ground, then it sprouts out, and then at the end it grows into a pumpkin. And then this is the end part, so it gets cut off. But this is how the pumpkin eats and drinks. It's like it's straw. It gets the vitamins, minerals, and the water from the ground, and then it helps this to grow. And yes, pumpkins do eat. They just don't eat like us. The second part that they have on here, actually we'll go to this, is the shell. So what we can observe from the outside, what we can see is the shell. And it's quite a hard shell. Um, and it's not like, if I knocked on an egg, I would say it's a little bit more tough than an egg shell, um, but it's not like a bowling ball. Um, I can kind of feel it bouncing a little bit, but it doesn't really hurt to knock on it. Another thing that I'm noticing, knocked on it, it sounds a little hollow inside, so I don't know if it's all the way just full, full, um, but we'll see when we cut it open. Um, the inside part here is called the flesh, kind of like our skin, but there's um, some skin on the inside. They also have pulp, kind of like when you hear about oranges have pulp. Um, there's a pulp, there's pulp inside of a pumpkin too, and they have seeds in there. And I think we all know about pumpkin seeds because obviously um, we would need to get something in order to grow these. So 
That being said, the last thing we should really talk about before I even start cutting is safety. I asked my friends, how do you think we should be safe when we're carving pumpkins? Because you guys might be doing it. And I heard a couple of things. A lot of my friends said that our parents should help or at least supervise when we're doing this. So um, they give us the instructions on if we're going to cut, how we should cut. Some of my friends said that they let their parents do the cutting and then they use the spoon to uh, see what's on the inside. So you might um, get some jobs and responsibilities. Uh, maybe it's your job to draw the face before you cut it out and then have your parents cut it out um, so what I'm using is a small knife um, if I have a big knife there's more of a chance I can get cut and when I use this small knife to cut uh, I'm gonna make sure that I'm holding um, very tightly and I'm not letting my hands slip off so my hands are dry and if my hands get slimy I want to wipe them off but I'm going to push it in and then um, when I cut around I'm gonna just wiggle while the knife's in there so that way I don't get cut because the knife's in there and I can kind of wiggle it a little bit around in the circle so I'm gonna get started so uh, check this out have it all cut all the way around and I didn't cut it in a circle but the square was kind of easier and actually it looks more like a rhombus but let's take a look inside Ooh. all right some initial observations here it does look a little like cobwebs you see the inside kind of looks like uh, a spider lives in there but I promise I'm not gonna find a spider in here you do see some seeds so that's right and I'm gonna guess that this stringy part here is the pulp and this part right here along the sides is the flesh so we have the, the shell this inside part here is the flesh and then the pulp is the slimy part of the ends and I can't know I don't know if you can tell looking at the camera but it kind of looks like it's wet so it feels wet and I think that's what makes it have that gooey feel so um, I am actually going to dig into this when I get home and uh, you're going to be able to see a little bit more about that. I'm going to take this home and I'm going to gut it out and stuff like that. But first, I kind of want to make sure I get face done on it. So um, let's talk about how we can um, shape it. So I'm going to probably draw on a clean side like over here. So when I think about what kind of face I'm gonna make, um, obviously people are very good at like making faces and stuff like that, but I like to use shapes. So can you guys help me out? What kind of shape should the eyes be? Okay, so I'm here in triangles. I'm gonna make it a little bit weird and do some upside down triangles. Okay, good. And then what should the nose look like? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I, I, I wouldn't do another triangle because it got to be confusing, but we can do a circle. Square? Circle? Square? Circle. Got a circle nose. And then, oh, you you want a smiley face? A scary face? Well, there's nothing scarier than so someone going, <laughs> So maybe I can do a face like that. And then maybe some eyebrows that look kind of mean. Okay, so there's that. And then the teeth, what kind of shape should the teeth be? You're right, we haven't done squares yet, so we can do squares. So we'll do... Um, but we're going to start cutting here in a little bit, uh, so stay tuned.
one I have so far, but I'm a little eager to get to the inside because I've already seen so much of the inside. Um, so I'm going to take this home and we're going to finish cutting this baby up. So stay tuned for that. So we're here. We're about to take a look, a deeper look inside our pumpkin friend. Now I know his mouth is not all the way cut out yet, but I was a little impatient. So I really want to see the insides. Let's get to it. Take a look at this though. It's so interesting. You look inside. Yeah, I got my spoon there. But like, that's what it looks like without the cobwebs. And then this is what it looks like with cobwebs. Isn't that crazy? So crazy. Let's get back. But I did make an observation, so I want you guys to check this out with me, okay? Yeah, don't mind the mess. Um, this is how I'm probably not going to like that, but check this out. Okay, so I was scooping all this stuff out, right? And I noticed something about the insides. Does this look like anything to you? To me, it looks like spaghetti strands. Now, there is such a thing called spaghetti squash. And if you bake it the right way, you can actually scoop it out and it looks like spaghetti. This is what reminds me of that. So I'm wondering, should I even eat this? I can't eat it like it is right now. But if I bake it, I might be able to. I'll have to look into that. But what I do know is I could bake these and eat them. They're like sunflower seeds. So if you bake them, you can eat them and it tastes so good, especially if you season them the right way, which we're gonna look into right now. So let's check it out where I have all the seeds kind of out. So what I'm gonna do is look at my little pantry here. Ooh, garlic salt, love garlic salt. So I'm gonna put some garlic salt on there, try to spread it out evenly, and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this stuff. Then we can finish the mouth on that thing. Let's get to the mouth. Let's go. We're gonna do a little test here. Check this out. with the guts I was just gonna freeze them and figure it out because I can make pumpkin pie I can make pumpkin pasta I can make pumpkin spice latte but I don't know what to do right now so I'm just gonna wait but our seeds are cooking and I'm about to try some in a little bit now for those of you at home that are like well, I want to make some when you scoop them out you're gonna put them on a tray make sure you get all the other gooey guts take them out and then you can season them however you want but then you're gonna put them in the oven and the temperature is gonna be 325 degrees and then do that for 15 to 20 minutes they've been in there for about 15 minutes already so I'm about to pull them out check this out so good we did it. All right, that's it for this video. I'm so glad you guys were able to watch, and I hope that you guys really learned something from this video. Um, if you did, feel free to comment down below and tell me what you learned about pumpkins through this whole video. Um, if you like this kind of stuff and you like watching more of uh, 
us exploring things, check out some of the other videos that I've made about exploring. Um, and subscribe to my channel so that you get all the updates on all the other stuff that you want to watch, okay? So that's it for now, and I can't wait to see you later. Bye, everyone.